Today we are going to build this entire admin page, same like we did in the previous video using Next.js, this time using Nuxt. By the end of this video we are going to have this awesome looking admin area with light and dark mode working and also it's going to be fully responsive. I'm going to put this code on a public GitHub repository and I'm going to share it with you in the description below. And while you're there, put one like on this video because it really means a lot. Here we are at the beginning. First thing we're going to do is to install Nuxt.js locally. So I'm going to the Nuxt.js documentation and I'm clicking get started. And there I'm going to run their npx nuxi latest in it and I'm opening my terminal here and we are going to name the project something orkish so orkish nuxt admin and we are going to use pmpm you can use whatever you'd like and now our nuxjs framework is being installed and while we are doing that, we are going to see next steps. So this is to open the project and to go and just run it with pmpm like this. And okay, I'm going to initialize git repository and we are going to our orkish nuxt admin. And there I'm running pmpm dev. Oh, I don't know what is that O in nuxt. I'll see you later. Okay, so now our Nuxt is successfully installed. Now when that one is done, we need to install a little bit of dependencies. So the difference between Next and Nuxt is that Nuxt comes without ESLint, without Tailwind and things like that. So we are going to Nuxt ESLint, we are going to install ESLint module. So here it is, and we are going to the documentation for that one. And we just need to do this here. I'm going to open again projects or kish nuxt admin. And I'm going to run the module add eslint command from nuxt. And let's see what, so this is for manual setup. We're not going to do that. This command is automatically doing everything for us. So we're going to get everything in nuxt config. And we can check it in our code here. So if I open Nuxt config, we see that Nuxt ESLint module is added. So we can continue. And here we need to put this into our settings. So this one is for flat config. So that's just locally. We're going to put it inside the local VS code. And we're going to create settings.json. And inside we're going to put this ESLint experimental use flat config. And after that, we need to put our scripts inside our package.json file. So we are going to put them here. And now I think we can test or yes, so now we can run our lint. So if we try it here, pmpm lint. That one is running and we don't have any errors because we didn't put any code yet. So now we can install our Tailwind Nuxt and that one should be easy. So we just here install all these dependencies. pmpmd for dev dependencies, add. Then we are adding these. We are running the npx command by Tailwind here and we need to add this to the next config also the post CSS so that's here below the modules and then we just put this inside the Tailwind config so that's the content part and then we create the main CSS inside the assets CSS main CSS folder. So we are creating a new assets and inside CSS. And there we are going to create main.css. And we are putting the tailwind variables. And we just need to tell 
next config to use that one. So we are going to next and here we are telling, hey, use this main CSS file and then it should work. So let's try it out inside of our app. Instead of this next welcome, I'm going to put this age one hello and let's see if it's working. Yep, I think we have underline and yeah, that's it. Just in case, let's do one text green 500. Tailwind is working, nice. Now we are quickly going to add here instead of this age one, next, next page, <laughs> I always say next, sorry. And this one is for our routing. So now here we can create pages folder and here we can create index.view. So this is going to be our slash view and there we can create template and we can put whatever we like. We can just say test and that one should work. Here it is, test. And if we create here another page and call it for example, products.view and there we put the same thing products and now if we go to the products page we are getting the products and here we are getting our test so we are going to delete these products we don't need that one we are just going to create the admin area inside our index now next biggest thing we need to do is to install the next shed cn so we are going to the shed cn documentation for next and first thing we need is to install Nuxt. We already have that. We have TypeScript, we have Tailwind, and now we need our ShadCN Nuxt module. So we are adding that one to our project. And after that, we need to change our Nuxt config a little bit. So we need to add this ShadCN part. And let's see first, yes, it is installed. And now we can go to the next config and here we see that it is successfully added. So now we need to add this part for components directory and everything that is needed for the ShadCN configuration. And now we are actually running our ShadCN initialization. So now we are going to get a bunch of questions. What kind of style we want where is going to be our folder and everything. So we're going to use TypeScript, that's for sure. We are using Nuxt framework. We can say default for our style. Here I'm going to take stone and we have our tsconfig.json inside of our, where it is, here it is. It's inside the root directory. So that one is okay. Then our global file is not here. It's not called Tailwind CSS. Our global file is called CSS file is called main CSS. So we're going to change this one assets CSS main.css. And we are going to use CSS variables and our Tailwind config is in the root directory. We are going to use components and for CN, it can be in libutils. And yes, we can take configuration components of JSON. And now everything is being installed. So I think next thing can be adding. Yeah, we can add a button so we can test that out. Let's see first if it is going to be installed. Yes, nice. Adding a button now. Let's see if it is going to work. It seems like it's working. Components, button. We have it. Great. Let's now build the admin area. We are going to pick our admin part again from the blocks page. So blocks page for view components is a little bit different. They don't have that much like for React, for Next.js, but we are going to find something. So here we see a bunch of login components. This one is admin, for example, but we don't want that one. This one is the same like in the video before. You can check that one also. And we are going to build today, where is our admin? Here it is, this one. So here, everything we need to do is just to click copy code. And we are going to our 
index.view, I can close all other files. And here I'm just going to paste everything from the blocks page. So now we can see that we have probably, yeah, we have a bunch of errors. So we are missing a bunch of components. We need our badge, input, we need cards. What's this drop down menu? So let's start. So here we need badge. Then we are going to install input. Next, we need our drop down menu. I think it's like that. Yeah, here it is drop down menu. Then we need input, breadcrumb, and sheet. Okay, so here we're going to install input. After that, breadcrumb, sheet, table, tabs. There is a bunch of things. Uh, what's this? Oh, I already installed input. Okay, then we need breadcrumb. And what we said next? Sheet, table, tabs. Okay. So here is the sheet, then we need after that table and after that tabs, okay, is it everything? No, and we need also the tooltip. So tooltip and I think that should be it. Let's, let's restart our view server here. And see if we have everything so there is no complaints oh there is for the card okay card and now i think that's all restarting the view server again and let's see if we have any errors we have 500 for something okay so what is the problem we have placeholder.svg and if we go placeholder.svg here so the error here is because we are missing the placeholder image i'm just going to download it here from this shadcm block and put it inside of my downloads folder then i'm going to move it in inside of our pages directory and then here for each placeholder.svg i'm going to put it to pull from the current folder and now if we check it shouldn't be okay we don't have any errors but it seems like tailwind is not working i probably forgot to add the module so if i go to next config yeah there is no tailwind module and for shad cn next there has to be a module and here it is i just jumped over it okay so we are adding the module also and now i hope it is successful let's wait and see come on oh it took so long okay it's added and now here it's working great and now we have this whole admin page and everything here is working when i say working i mean the front end part so these drop downs for the filter for the user the tabs are working these are the breadcrumbs we have all the links here with the icons i'm not sure where is the oh here is the tooltip settings and this entire table and everything is fully responsive so see how cool it looks in every resolution it's really nice so next thing we need to do is to add here the light and dark mode. That one is also going to be easy. So I'm going here inside the components and then here dark mode. And we're using next. So we need to add this one, the color mode dependency. So we're adding that one as, is it the dev dependency? Yep, yeah, it is, okay and adding that and then we need this part inside of our next config let's not forget again to put something inside of our next config so that's the color mode module and also this suffix for color mode also here 
and then we need all these icons that we are going to use that's for the moon and sun icon and then here it is we just need we already have the drop down menu and the button we need this icon I'm going to add it to the index inside the script let's see where it does it end here so I'm putting the icon and I'm putting the color mode obviously this one could be in some let's say in app.view or something like that in some layout it depends on your app and now we just add this whole thing let's see where so we are going to edit here i'm going to search for the my account my account and the drop down menu is here so this one should work let's see if it works here here it is and dark mode working perfectly light mode system perfect it works I'm going to push this code to a public GitHub repository so you can play with it or create something. Maybe you can even use it for some of your projects and you can also compare it a little bit with the Next.js implementation that we tried before. That's the whole thing, Warriors. I hope you liked it. Subscribe for more.